Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is the first video that you have ever seen of mine, my name is Catherine and I live with my husband and 10 children in this house. And on my channel, I like to show people how even if you have a really huge family or any size at all, that you can live a simple, uncluttered, uncomplicated, happy life and you can enjoy homemaking and you can be like me and you can be constantly trying to be a better homemaker. Today we are going to clean a ceiling fan in the way that I know how to. It involves one human person, one step and a pillowcase and a brain and hands and you don't even really have to talk or be able to speak English. So without further ado, let's have a look at how terrible and disgraceful the fan is. And then I'll show you how I clean it. This fan is in the room directly opposite the kitchen. So not only do I have dust, but I have like greasy, nasty dust. And you don't notice how bad something is until you notice it. And then you see how bad it is. Okay, I get my pillowcase. I open the pillowcase like this, where you put the pillow in. And then I put the pillowcase completely over the fan blade. So we have one blade inside the pillowcase. Then I get my two hands and I go either side of the blade and I firmly grip and slide the pillowcase off the blade without snapping the blade. So I've done one blade, all of my dust and all of the fan filth is inside the pillowcase. I should be able to do the entire fan with this one pillowcase. Can you see me? <laughs> I should probably like attach a GoPro or something to my head. So again, pillowcase over, holding the sides and even the top here. I'm slowly pulling it because I don't want to fall off the step. The greasy dust is now inside the pillowcase and I can now, I'll show you the two bits that I've done and you can compare the, the pair. So that is the one that I just wiped with the pillowcase compared to the one I haven't done yet. This is also the one that I wiped and that's all I've done so far. I've just used the pillowcase to wipe along the edges of the fan. I might get really fancy and spray some vinegar on a cloth to like clean up that because that's grossness. And we still have this one to go as well. And I can't believe that I actually just thought I feel hot and I should turn the fan on. Don't turn the fan on when you're cleaning the fan, okay? And I suppose you can use more than one pillowcase. But I don't need more washing than we already have. Slide again. inside. I'm going to fold the pillowcase this way, fold over the opening so it's like all contained and I can use this to dust around and wipe everywhere else. I 
now have my dirty pillowcase, but basically all the grossness is within it. I just toss this in the washing machine and it comes out clean. It's really not like a super complicated, difficult thing to do. The main reason why I actually first thought of this idea was because I have a ceiling fan in my bedroom that's over my bed and I didn't want tons of dust to be falling down everywhere that I then have to change all my bedding or vacuum or just make more work for myself. I'm all about making things very simple but looking at how that fan got really dirty and I obviously don't want to live in a dirty house I'm now gonna write in my planner that I clean the fans and then I'll probably make a note to check in a month if it's equally as bad it'll go on the cleaning rotation for a monthly job if it's not that terrible we might do it once a term every six months every 12 months this is the things we find out as homemakers perfecting our craft is streamlining is trying to make things easy is trying to make things work for us and that is the name of my game like I have said a million times in a lot of my videos I have 10 children I get people asking me how I manage to keep on top of things and do stuff you seeing that fan tells you that I'm not completely on the ball with absolutely everything but in my heart I desire to be I want to be on top of everything and have everything organized and streamlined and my biggest goal for 2023 is to just not stress and worry about anything but I'm still gonna have these 10 kids I'm still gonna have the one husband who works a lot and I'm still gonna be a homemaker so I just want to get better and better at it with that child entering the room I will let you go. I will see you in the next video. I have lots coming up, lots planned. I live in an old house, guys. So there's always gonna be a million and one things that I can do, need to, should do. Um, but for now, what I really wanna do is turn the air conditioner on. And of course, I forgot to say bye. So, so bye, have a good day.